Psalm 27 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock, and now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou saidst, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation, when my father and my mother forsake me. Then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies. For false witnesses are rising up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted, unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalm 18 I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God. My strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken, because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also, and came down, and darkness was under his feet, and he rode upon a cherub, and did fly, yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness that was before him his thick clouds passed. Hail stones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hail stones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of thy nostrils. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters, he delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity. But the Lord was my stay. 
He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me, because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands hath he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord, and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him, and I kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore hath the Lord recompensed me, according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyesight. With the merciful thou wilt shew thyself merciful, with an upright man thou wilt shew thyself upright, with the pure thou wilt shew thyself pure, and with the froward thou wilt shew thyself froward, for thou wilt save the afflicted people, but wilt bring down high locks, for thou wilt light my candle, the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God have I leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect, the word of the Lord is try. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is God save the Lord? Or who is a rock save our God? It is God that girdeth me with strength, and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds' feet, and setteth me upon my high places. He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holden me up, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued mine enemies, and overtaken them. Neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. They cry, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord. But he answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people, and thou hast made me the head of the heathen. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away, and be afraid out of their close places. The Lord liveth, and blessed be my rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God that avengeth me, and subdueth the people under me. He delivereth me from mine enemies. Yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed for evermore. Praised and exalted be your holy name, Lord our God and beloved Father. We enter your presence, Father, for this prayer based on Psalm 18, a powerful prayer to break the chains that have been affecting this person's life. Just as you gave victory to David and defeated his enemies, so also, my God, we ask that this person listening to this psalm, way teen prayer, receive victory over witchcraft, sorcery, evil spells, and all forms of disturbance. We ask, my Father, that all curses be undone before the Lord. The chains of hell are broken, 
and this person comes out of their anguish. For from your mouth, Lord, comes the fire to burn envy, to ward off the evil spirit, and to dissipate all curses from their life. From on high, Lord, stretch out your hand and lift this person from deep waters, deliver them from the mighty enemy, bless them with the blessings described in Psalm 18. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, based on this Psalm 18, we declare that all works of witchcraft, envy, sorcery, be undone in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And to all who believe, say Amen. Take a deep breath and thank God. Thank God. The prayer of Psalm 18 was prayed. It is an extremely powerful prayer. If you believe you have been a victim of any witchcraft work, or feeling that something is wrong in your lie, start a purpose with God. Listen to this prayer for seven consecutive days. The number seven represents God's perfection, victory. There is no need for financial sacrifices as God's things are free, but it is important to seek God. If you know someone else who is going through difficulties in their life, share this prayer with them. Remember that Jesus said, Give, and it will be given to you. Start your purpose today, and with God's grace things will become clear, and darkness will disappear. Stay in communion with God, and I will be back soon with more powerful prayers. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Psalm 28 Unto thee will I cry, O Lord my rock, be not silent to me, lest, if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors. But mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their desert. Because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them, and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also, and lift them up forever. O Lord God, steadfast rock and fortress of my faith, in you I find a safe refuge where my soul rests in peace. In times of storm and days of anguish, you are the light that disperses the darkness around me, guiding me wisely along life's paths. Strengthen me, O God, with your mighty arm, so that I may face challenges with renewed courage and unwavering faith, knowing you are by my side in every step I take. May your presence be like an invincible shield against the schemes of evil, protecting me from all visible and invisible dangers that seek to divert me from your purpose for my life. Amid trials that rise like furious waves, I rest in your promise of salvation and peace, confident that your grace is sufficient to sustain me in all circumstances. Just as the psalmist cried out and found attentive ears in you, O Heavenly Father, hear also my sincere plea. In your infinite mercy, grant me strength to persevere in daily battles and wisdom to discern your will in every decision I make. 
May my praise to you be a constant song, O God, for you are worthy of all honor and glory. May my life be a living testimony of your transforming love, inspiring others to seek your presence and experience the fullness of life in Christ Jesus. In the name of your beloved Son, my Savior and Redeemer, I pray, confident that you are my eternal refuge and unwavering fortress. Amen.